In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I run the best offense and the best defense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you haven't hit the subscribe yet, uh, subscribe button yet, go ahead and click that button. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel. It helps you out a ton because you get access to all of our videos here on our YouTube channel. Now, really quick, guys, I'm doing an Inside the Mind gameplay. And what an Inside the Mind gameplay basically is, is it's where I log in and basically play a full online match of Madden 21. And essentially what I try to do is take you inside my head, share what I'm thinking, share why I'm doing what I'm doing, uh, so that you can be more effective uh, in Madden 21. So I'm going to be doing that right now. If you want to get access to the offense or the defense that I run in this video, um, they are available in the description of the video. Okay, so all that to say, we are running our 335 defense and we are running our um, bunch tight end offense. And the reason we're playing some regs is because the next Madden tournament is actually going to be on regs. Uh, regs is actually probably my preferred way to play the game, um, just because I think there's a lot of a lot of strategy uh, with regs. It's just my personal opinion. Um, there's every team is I I feel like you know obviously they're not necessarily um, completely balanced, but I feel like it's like one of those things where you have the best. You know, you don't have to spend money to have a great team. So, um, if, anyways, that being said, if you want help with your mutt team, you can always text me. Uh, I do have some some discounts on coins and stuff like that that I can uh, provide you guys. So, anyways, all that to say, uh, that's what we're doing uh, right there. I felt like that was um, uh, something I should have got an interception on. Now, what I do in terms of a gameplay is I really believe in this philosophy of jab, 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 right hook. And what that basically means is on the opening drive, what I'm trying to do is I'm actually not trying to get necessarily a stop. I'm just trying to understand what he's doing and why he's going to do it. Um, that's really my only goal. I'm just literally trying to understand, you know, what are his go-to routes? What are the things that he's trying to do? So that then, later on in the game, I can stop it. I never try to win a game in the first quarter. I try to understand a game in the first quarter. And I feel like that's a really important thing to do. So I'll run a lot of cover four. I'll run a lot of man-to-man um, -man coverage. Like, I'll, I'll run, um, you know, some basic defenses um, just to kind of get a handle on what he's doing. Uh, what are his, what is his offense? Now, one little tip that I have for you guys um, is different running games require different run defenses. So if he's an ace close, it's a little bit different to stop that than if he's in uh, eye close, right? Which is a little bit different than strong close, right? So there's sometimes these little nuances and formations to formations. And that's why what I recommend doing is 100%, uh, I always recommend go ahead and, you know, basically essentially wait for them to choose their play before you choose your play. And I know it sounds like something super, super simple, but to me, it's really, really important. Um, and the reason why is so that you can always be prepared for what you're going to face. Because if you don't know, you know, if you don't know what for, it's a, it's an opportunity for you to have a leg up on the offense, right? They can't see what you pick. They don't know if you're going to be in dollar, in nickel, in bear. They don't know. You have the advantage in this in this regard. So take advantage of it. Don't waste it. Um, so single back ace close, he comes out in one running back, two tight end, two wide receiver personnel. Tells me everything I need to know, right? It tells me that more than likely um, he is he is probably going to uh, pass the ball here. So we're going to send some pressure. If he does run, now we're, really the player we're going to have to watch out for is this Amari Cooper. He does hit the tight end. That's actually a good read by him. And that's okay. Right there we're kind of expecting and really going all out in our coverage on Amari Cooper. All I have to say, guys, if you have questions as you watch this game, things you want help with, if you have any questions, you can always text me. My number's in the top left-hand corner. Also, I have a full text message membership that you could sign up for um, just by texting in. It has full schemes, full offenses, full defenses for you. All right, so right here, uh, when someone does this, um, this is this is an interesting sign. Like This, this is like, you know, of course, we're going to come out fullback slam with the Cowboys. Um Really, if someone comes out in fullback dive, I actually feel pretty good in my base defense with this stuff. Um, 
I'm trying to lab a little bit of how to stop that from this formation a little bit more effectively. Um, if he's going to continue to do that, there's some things that we can do to stop that stuff. But realistically, he's putting a good drive together, but he's kind of doing a bunch of different things, um, going to a bunch of different formations, in my opinion. Um, and so we just have to kind of monitor that. Now right here, it looks like he's going to go to this set right here. Uh, we're going to drop a zone on that side, a little purple zone. And he throws a quick flat route to Ezekiel Elliott. He's going to get in there. I probably should have clicked on and made the, made the tackle. I'm not quite sure what happened to my man coverage on that side of the field. Um, that's one of the benefits of having a split close type of play uh, or formation. It does create some issues with man coverage. So I've got to watch that a little bit. I didn't run very much zone at all in that first drive. The next drive, um, and that's a good drive by him. Ten plays, 72 yards, five minutes. Like, you can't argue with that. But also, this is what I love about Matt, and I always, always tell you, I always want to kick the ball off. Um, and the reason why you want to kick the ball off is because now I have a possession under my belt, but I also have the luxury of being able to get the ball at halftime so in this situation, I can go down and I can score, and then I can also be in a situation you know, to get the ball back out of halftime. So I don't have to feel a ton of pressure because I kind of already have a plan to get myself out of this, okay? So bunch tight end offense, my favorite offense in the game. So first and foremost, we want to kind of identify a little bit about what he's doing defensively. Um, right here, this looks like a little 4-3 under. Now, a couple people have been talking to me about this new defense that some people are running in the community, so we'll have to see. And he's going to go man coverage. little user rush right off the bat there with Sean Lee. Actually, really, really frustrated with that because I blocked six people, uh, or I blocked seven people, and they didn't block for me. So um, if he's going to continue to do this user rush, which it looks like that's what's going to be his strategy, uh, we should be able just to max protect here. We're going to slide um, in that direction and just try to keep some, some good pr protection there. Um, and he actually goes back into coverage and that's okay that's that's honestly a terrible job by me of reading the defense right there and that's where you know i probably should have started with pa cross it was a good job i just expected him to use a rush me again he didn't um obviously he's going to do it here why wouldn't he and we're going to throw a touchdown right off the bat there that's what i should have done on the first play uh, i was trying to go to curl flat corner a little bit and I think that's a ridiculous tackle. I think Devontae Adams needs to be able to get out of that. Um, but that is what it is. All right, so let's see if he goes back to the zone coverage version of this. i got to watch this. If I can hit this route here, I will take that all day long. And we're just going to truck. Now, what I like to do down here in the red zone is I love to audible to this single back trio and just see if they can stop the run. If they can stop the run, then, you know, obviously I can do some other things here. But we're just trying to see, you know, if they can handle the run game. Um, and then I'll do some other stuff too. Like I'll auto put a single back bunch. This slash fake end around is super glitchy, super effective uh, in my opinion. It's hard to shoot it, hard to blow it up. Uh, and he did blow it up there. So we'll actually go ahead um, and come back out of that. Now I'm in the run heavy playbook. So they've got a lot of runs in this playbook that I could go to. Uh, another thing that I like to do is I love to go down and go to the stretch play out of the single back trio in these situations. Uh, ideally, I should have had that in my, you know, in my arsenal. Now, right here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sub in a backup quarterback because Aaron Rodgers is really, really tired. So I'm just going to sub in a backup quarterback because I know I'm going to run the ball. And I just want to see how he handles the dive. I think the dive is one of the hardest runs to stop um, for like a, a yard or two. And there we go. We're able to get in from strong tight. And now I can kind of finish finish uh, setting up my playbook. Uh, one of the things that I like to do out of the run heavy playbook is I like to come out in the strong tight in the, in the goal line. And then I will audible. I will typically audible to the, um, oh gosh, what's it called? Audible to the... Uh, goal line formation there so I can do you know fullback dives from there I can do power rows uh, I can do all that stuff I'm going to replace that sting with a strong toss and then we'll take our field goal so we did our job he did his job so now what we got to do and really the, the sign of a good Madden player is not what you do on your first drive but what you do on your second your third your fourth your fifth drive um, and so you know kind of a similar really honestly a similar drive sequence um, for both sides of the, of the game so we've got to kind of, you know, kind of mentally preparing for what we're going into here in a second. 
we've got to think a little bit about stopping his corner route to the tight end on a single back ace close. That's kind of his, you know, he's either going to throw the corner route or he's going to throw the drag route late. So I feel like we can take that away. Um, from split close, it looks like we need to maybe run some zone coverage um, just, just to see how that works with him because he seems pretty comfortable beating the man coverage. And then I think that's pretty much what he ran other than goal line. And then in goal line, we just need to not give up a fullback dive for 10 yards a pop. So he's going to come right out, split close pats, and we're going to come uh, right out in our zone coverage. Got the hard flat there, got that drag, and then he's going to scramble. He's going to throw across his body. He got a bad catch animation. And then this is one of my favorite strategies. When I get a user pick, or uh, when I get a pick, and it's doing that little deal where it kind of kind of reframes. A lot of people like the, the hurdle, but I actually went ahead and did the double juke. Now, I don't want him to quit out because I actually think this could be a good game. Um, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and take the loss. So that's a little bit about the offense, a little bit about the defense, a little bit about the game plan. If you want to get my bunch tight end offense, it's in the description. And if you want to get my 3-3-5 wide defense, it is in the description as well.